Hi, everyone. This is your beloved G Shifu right here. Welcome to another Tao Talk, and uh, we're here to talk about some serious stuff, serious Taoism stuff. Okay, so what are, what is the topic today? <laughs> I I think most of you already know because there's a title, duh. But today we're going to talk about um, how to pray again, and this praying is not the ordinary praying that like most both most of the people just you know close their palm and start saying, "Oh God, please help me" and whatever. Okay, that uh, that's lame. <laughs> Because why? Because a lot of people don't get it. They don't get why their prayers are not being answered, and they have no effect. It's like you pray, but it doesn't work, and it's just like you're talking to nothing. Well, the thing what I'm trying to he- like explain to you guys here is, no matter what religion, okay, it's the same. Like you need to have a connection. To the God that your religion believes in, or uh, uh, worship, or whatever you want to call that. Okay, so <clears throat> praying is kind of like you're asking the boss for help, and the boss, number one, the boss needs to be able to talk to you. Okay, so you need need a number to call the boss, right? So most of the people are like just close their palm and then they go, "Oh Lord, oh God, oh whatever," right? And then they start talking. Now the thing is, how do you expect just by you calling the name will catch the attention of the other side and they will listen to you? Even like you know, like human in the same house. Okay, when um, like this is a real story. Okay, my disciple, <clears throat> um, their house. Uh, there's like the the daughter and the son and a mom. Okay, three people in a room. Three people only. The mom suddenly just start talking and say, "Oh, you know what? Today we can eat this and this for dinner, and you guys can go cook." And then after like thirty minutes, turn out that no one actually heard that stuff, and no one actually went prepare for dinner. And she was like, "What the heck? I was like talking right here loudly, and how come you guys don't even get it?" Well, the thing is, you didn't get their attention yet. Like first, you have to call them, like call their name. Until to the point that they can actually hear you and give you a response and say yes, mom, and then you start talking. And after you start talking, they listen. You have to get a confirmation back. Do you guys hear me? Do you understand? Do you know what to do? And then they say yes. Then there goes the actual solution. But a lot of people don't know about this. Like they are one-sided in communication. A lot of people. I'm telling you, like a lot of people. So when we do these prayers, number one step to have a successful prayer is to make sure your connection is there, or else, no matter what you do, it's all garbage because you're like talking to the air. No one's listening. No one is there. Okay. So how can you ensure that there is actually a connection? How can you ensure that your prayer is being heard? Okay. How do you ensure that? <clears throat> well. The short answer is: number one, you need to be part of the religion or the lineage. Like you need to be ordained into our lineage to connect to our gods. Okay, now that's the typical situation. Okay, so when you ordain into our lineage, you have this thing called heart spell. The heart spell they are like special spell that are、um, taught to you, and when you recite them, you are connecting. To the special power of the lineage, like dialing the phone number to find God, okay, and then God will be like, "Hey, what's up?" You know. So that's basically the main point of having heart spell. You have the power to dial that phone number. Now let's talk a bit about the more advanced disciple. Okay, the more advanced disciple, they have an altar at home, and a cultivated altar has the God. Right there, locally sitting right there, like right there. Okay, so when you're around that altar, even though you have not did the ceremony to like connect up to the higher power in the lineage, you will still have 
a certain level of power right there, like what you call God, okay, on on location. So with an altar, it's like you have some God at your house, like really at there. So when you talk, you're ensure that you will be heard, right? So basically, that's uh, something that is very different from a newbie. A newbie doesn't have, have an altar, or maybe their altar is really baby step. So they don't have that power built up yet. It's not cultivated yet. It's like your altar uh, start from having a seed planted into the ground. And you don't see any like tree or plants coming out of the ground yet. It's still inside, right? So that's a baby step. And at that stage, you still don't have anyone there uh, listening to you all the time. But once your altar is cultivated... And like to a certain level, you will also know that there is actually someone there. So when you talk, someone will be listening. Now, what if you're not in our lineage and you want to like connect to our God? Now, typically speaking, there's no way to do so um, because you're not part of our lineage. But because of this special time right now is like the uh, most crazy time for most people going through this uh, COVID-19, the virus, okay? So they're going through this hard time. Uh, so we know uh, some people might not be able to afford to ordain or some people might not be like, uh, like they might want to like keep the money for food and ranch and don't have the money to ordain and learn stuff, okay? We know, we understand. And maybe there are a bunch of people who are suffering and cannot afford to learn too. So instead of like telling them to wait, uh, our uppers have released this uh, special spell, which is what a puppet. And um, the puppet can use the spell as their phone number to dial. Now, I'm going to say this, okay? Ordain, get ordained and use the, sp- the heart spell that you have when you ordain is going to be much stronger, okay? That's no doubt. But if you are like in the stage where you want to like do this first and ordain later okay you can use this one okay now remember how to say the spell i'm gonna repeat that two times and that's it okay so make sure you know okay again Okay, so that uh, the spell. Okay, so you have now you have this spell, okay, that you can connect to our God, which is called Samlo Josi. Okay, now the spell itself is Samlo Josi Joy Chi. So Samlo Josi is here. Dai Hin Wei Ling is to show the power. Okay. That's basically the uh, command, telling the command to execute, okay? So those of you who actually listen to this show today, you are special. You are being specially uh, in this group where you have this spell activated for you, okay? So if you listen to the show here, uh, you are one of the lucky ones. <laughs> so anyway, what can you do with the spell? Well, here we go. We talked about it last time, but we're going to repeat. You can use this spell to connect to the Samlo Josi, the god of our lineage. And then you can do the prayer to pray. And in, like what we said before, right? Some of them, some of the people are praying, but they don't have any answer. Like you keep praying for many, many times and nothing works. And why nothing works? Because your prayer is not heard. Or because you're praying... Uh, method like how you uh, see things are not structural it's like you want some someone to help you and all you do is like oh please help me please help me give me all the help you know like I'm looking at you and I'm like okay so which part do you want help like how can I help I don't know then I don't help because I don't know what to do right if you want the help you need to be specific and you need to be structural. Just like you want to request something, you want to make sure your request ticket is uh, clear. And so the other side know what to give. Okay. Now, 
um, let's get into this uh, praying thing, okay? So right now you'll be facing the window, and you put both palms together at your chest level, and then you close your eyes and you recite that spell that I just said. 三罗祖师在此大显威灵，急急如律灵，戚戚灵。And then, okay, this spell is set inside your heart. Okay, you're not gonna say it out with the mouth. And then you're gonna stomp your left foot once. Okay, now you have sent the spell to the lineage, and the lineage will respond to you, will connect to you. <coughs> okay, now you will take a cup of water. Okay, cup of water. And then you will put it in front of you, maybe like on a desk or something. Okay, now it's in front of you. Now this cup of water in front of you, and also the connection to Samlo Josi is in front of you. So basically, the water is like you you have、uh, shown this water to the Samlo Josi. Okay, next, get get into the prayer. Now raise both hands up to the forehead level, like your your palm. Okay, up to the forehead. Keep your eyes closed while we say the prayer. This part of the prayer is something that you can say in any language that you know. Like if you know Spanish, you can say Spanish. If you if you know、uh, English, you do English. Okay, it's fine. Any language is fine, but it got to follow the same format. Okay, number one, time. Number two, location. Number three, what you're doing. Number four, before, what happened, and last number five is after, like after that, and so what? What do you want to happen later? Okay. For example, today is March eighteen, and now is three、uh, p.m. I am at home, located at one two three Avenue at what? My address. I am here to pray to Samlo Josi and beg for help. Recently, there has been many cases of the coronavirus spreading all over the place. Many people are suffering from it, and so is dying from it. There are no、uh, medicine, vaccine, or any solution besides isolating people and locking down the countries and causing huge damage to the econom- economy system and such. Many people are out of job.、Uh, maybe you can say, including myself, something like that. Okay. Okay. And therefore, I am here to beg you,、uh, Samlo Josi, for help. To protect me and my family, so that we will not be、uh, infected by this virus, and keeping us safe and healthy. Okay, now we are done with the prayer. You will、uh, move over your palm or your head, and then bow by like tapping the head to the palm three times. Now you open your eyes. And now the、uh, prayer, like the the、uh, the prayer that that allows you to talk in your own language, is done. Okay, and then next, next, this is the professional part. You will be taking the、uh, scripture, the whole page. I should be posting this on my website, thetinyadragon.com, in the blog where the.、Uh, Coronavirus stuff is okay. So anyway, you can go there and download. Basically, there's a huge、uh, document, and there you'll find the whole scripture, including some spells. You'll be reciting them along with the pronunciation, and that got to be in Chinese. Okay, if you、uh, are English speaker, you'll be using Cantonese. So after following the whole scripture, like chanting, okay, chanting the whole thing is to bring that power down. This power is specifically for healing, 
getting rid of sickness and all these viruses and stuff like that, helping people through these kind of hurdles. So after you're done chanting, okay, now this prayer section, like the uh, meat section of the prayer, is done. At last, we need to conclude by saying thank you and also deploying that uh, power that you got from the from the God, right? Okay, so number three is after the pr- prayer, you're done. You open your eyes and now you will take that water with both hands, raise it up and bow three times. Now that means that you want all that power that you requested to go into the water. And now you put down the water and you will kneel down to the ground with both palms, face a uh, palm on the ground, like facing the ground and on the ground, uh, on both sides, and you will be bowing your head down the ground three times to conclude. This concluding is like you're uh, thanking the other side for giving you the help. Now, you're getting up and you can now use that water for whatever purpose you want. Now, we said we want to get like protection against the virus, right? So, the most basic thing you can do with this water, you can also dilute the water. Like you can... You can put a bit into another cup and then add more water on it and, you know, give it to someone else too. That That's also okay. Okay? Now, this water, um, you will want to drink some of it, pour some of it into a hot bath and soak yourself there. And you can also use this water and sprinkle around the house or spray it around the house uh, or even around yourself. This water is the magical water you have created by doing the prayer yourself. And the power that you got from the the, uh, God is inside the water. You're now going to deploy that power out out of the water. Like spraying, using the water, right? You're spraying, soaking, drinking, etc. And by doing so, now the prayer is going to work because you gave it a way to work. You see, if people are praying and only say, oh, please help me, please help me, and da, da, da. Okay, how can I help you? There's no way I can give you the help. The water becomes like a box, and the God gives their stuff into this box, and now you take the box and you throw out the stuff to where you want help, and there you go. You see, this is like how professional praying is done. And beside the water, we can also like use the water for cooking, you know, very useful. Anyway, beside the water, you can also put some salt, like a dish of salt. And uh, you can tell, like while you put it on and you want to like tell the other side, I want the salt to be empowered so that I can use it to uh, bath and to maybe do whatever and you know, just to help to detox the uh, virus energy on my body. And that's also good to do, right? Okay, so um, if you are going outside, you might want like a charm or something to carry with you. Maybe you have a necklace. Maybe you have some kind of thing that you wear on your neck. Okay, you can put that there too. During the prayer, you're going to tell Samlo, Josie, you want this thing to be empowered for you to carry around when you go outside. And so it's going to like act like a fool, right? Like you go around, this thing is on your body and it's going to like um, protect you and repel the uh, virus energy and such away from you. So it's like an extra layer of protection on top of yours. Uh, So yeah, you can do that too. It's uh, up to you. If you're learning in the lineage, of course, we have much more ways to do these things and like a lot of um, more in-depth theories and advanced method. But this lesson, this episode, I'm making it super simple and easy so that everyone listening to it can grab this method and do it right away. I mean, do it right away. Okay, so up to this point, I will leave about like 10 minutes or so uh, of this episode 
for you guys to enjoy listening to my chanting of the scripture. Um, so this footage I also posted on YouTube, and I did a um, a triple repeat so that you can listen to it for a longer time on YouTube. But this one I'm going to post here is just one time. Now, this is not for you to copy, imitate, or follow my chanting, because what I'm chanting sounds nothing like typical Chinese. The the kind of chanting that we do, like these kind of higher level kind of chanting, is done with a special method that requires special language and such. So it's a very unique thing. Um, but what I want you to do is relax, close your eyes, and first, of course, before I start, you will all close your eyes and connect to Samlo Josie. Connect to the God first. Close your eyes. Put the palms together at the chest level. Repeat the spell. Samlo Josie Joy Chi Da Hin Wei Ling Gup Gup Yu Le Ling Check Check Ling. Stomp the left foot once. And now. You are going to keep your eyes shut, put the uh, hand relax on the lap or something, and now listen through this ten minutes about of chanting. Just relax, let anything go in, and it's going to energize and bless you for uh, getting a uh, extra coat of energy on top for helping you minimizing. The uh, chance of that crap going into you. Okay, so uh, enjoy. Make sure you also check out the YouTube video, which I have a triple repeat of this thing, and you can use that every day before you sleep, and let my chanting help you go to sleep. Also, don't forget to share with your friends and families. I wish you, or I should say, we, the whole lineage, wish you. A healthy 2020, and no COVID 19 for you. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Enjoy the chanting.
Tim Tena, he and he
Yeah. 